the sixth button. One, two, three, four, five, six. Arguably, I should have shown this to you at the very beginning. This is the menu button, and this reveals everything that the device is capable of, and uh, it gives you access to all its contents. Uh, there are tabs along the top, and uh, lists under those tabs um, of the various things. Uh, it's, there's, there's a lot of weird and wonderful stuff on here which you'll probably never use, um, including the Japanese constitution if you really uh, feel the need to look it up. Um, maybe one of, an interesting function is in the very right hand tab, um, at the very top, is uh, an atlas. Uh, you can look up various different parts of um, Japan geographically. The menu button has another very useful function, uh, which I think is more useful than its, than its menu function, as uh, memory cards. So I press it one more time, and you can see Anki card or memory cards, okay? But let's, ac let's access the most useful memory card function from the dictionary. So let's go back to the English-Japanese dictionary, the fourth button from the left, and uh, for example let's type in the word dog. D O G, all right, and we'll choose. Um, oh, let's say the top candidate. Press OK, all right. And in the handwriting screen at the bottom right, okay, we have um, the memory card function. So touch memory card, okay, and we'll go to. I've already filled up. We've got here six banks of um, memory cards with a hundred cards each. I've filled this one up, so let's, we have to go to this one. Um, the number in the top right tells you how many you've used in each bank. Press OK. And you can see we've got in the top, in the top half of the screen the dictionary, and in the bottom half uh, room to create a memory card. So I'm going to type, uh, first write in the word, uh, the kanji for dog, okay, inu. All right. Uh, you can choose a thick or thin pencil with this top icon here. Um, with this bottom icon, you can choose the eraser to uh, amend a small part of what you've uh, written, or the trash can to uh, to trash it. And if you're happy with it, press uh, the OK button, and you can see the kanji for dog has now appeared on the screen. And for this, uh, for the reverse side of the card, I'm going to write in dog. Okay, and press OK. Right, press it one more time, and we've created our card. To actually use the memory cards, we go back to the menu button, press it twice, uh, go to the default Anki card or memory card, then the default Anki card or meter, see the Anki card. Um, and what comes up next on the, it's difficult to see, uh, on the, uh, the handwriting screen, on the left it says that the top option is um, start from the front of the card, and the bottom option is start from the back. So make sure you've chosen the front, um, as I think that would be most useful in most cases. Uh, go to the bank you want, and press it. And here we have the front of the card, the word dog. Okay, Inu. Um, if we press the OK button again, all right, we get the English dog. Okay, if you just keep pressing them, uh, you you rotate uh, between the two. All right. To view the next card, um, press the cursor button. Okay. Um, actually, the next card is is the next card back. All right. So this is the previous card I created, and again to uh, to test yourself, just press the OK uh, and toggle backwards and forwards that way. Finally, I'd like to show you one more trick using the jump button, which is uh, right next to the uh, the font size button. This one here. Okay. So let's go again to the uh, Japanese English, uh, the English Japanese dictionary. All right. Again, let's type in the word dog. Now, um, inside of the um, 
Japanese English dictionary, or any dictionary for that matter, you'll find Japanese words that you don't know within the definition. Uh, if you want to look up the definition of those words, it's very easy using the jump key. So, press the jump key and you'll see that uh, by default the very top left word has been selected. Using the cursors, you can change uh, the selection um, simply, but simply by using whichever cursor you like, left, right, up or down. Um, let's go to this word here. We press it and we have a list of options okay and as an English speaker option F is probably the most useful one um, that's the Japanese English dictionary so we press that and here we have the definition in English of the word within the definition of dog that you didn't know so that's it the basic introduction to the Casio X word data plus 4 XD SP 6600 um, if you buy this product from Goods from Japan, we're more than happy to answer any, any further questions you might have uh, about how to use it and its various different functions. That's all. Thanks for listening. Sayonara.